Yo, 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 what's up? It's Day Day here with yet another gameplay, and today I'm going to bring in you five tips in order to get better at Battlefield, aka increase the amount of kills. Stay tuned. Now, as you're well aware, there are several specialists that you can use within Battlefield 2042. However, the best person to use, especially if you're trying to get more kills, is going to be Sundance. I mean, there's absolutely no one who is better than Sundance. Because of the fact that she has a wingsuit allows you to do all kinds of flanking. I mean, you can jump from any kind of elevation, and we'll get more into that later, in order to get to higher elevations, just so you can get off the best flank. So... First step that I would highly recommend is if you're trying to get more kills, trying to get crazier clips, or you're just wanting to help out the team that much more and pull off those holy crap moments, trust me, switch to, uh, to Sundance so this way you can use the wingsuit. The next tip is to learn how to make a target priority. So what I mean by this, whenever you're using Sundance and you're pulling off a flank move, you always want to make sure that you land behind the furthest person that you saw. So this way you're not landing in front of the pack. And then when you land directly behind that person, that should be your number one priority unless someone is already looking at you. Because chances are, the person you just landed behind saw you fly in. So you want to take them out as quick and quietly as possible, so this way you can move on to the next target. And the next target's going to be whoever is more susceptible to turning around if they haven't already, and engage them. And then rinse and repeat and go up the list that way. You don't ever want to land in front of someone if you can avoid it. So make sure you're always trying to land at the back of the pack so this way you can be shooting them from the back or to the side. And this way it's not a 50-50 gunfight. The next tip is going to be picking the right gun. And I don't necessarily mean picking the meta. However, that does help you out a lot. Obviously, it puts you on the same tier as everyone else that is using the meta. But what I mean by picking the right gun is make sure you're picking a gun that's best suited for your gameplay style. So, if you're a runner and gunner, kind of like me, you want to make sure that you're using SMGs for the most part. Now, putting SMGs in there is going to put you at a huge disadvantage, especially since there's been several updates now. If you get into a mid-range gunfight against someone who has an AR or an L LMG, you're probably going to lose. So you want to make sure you're picking the right gun for the right engagements. If you're not finding yourself in close quarters, then don't be picking an SMG. Pick something that's best suited for that, such as an assault rifle or an LMG. Hey, if these tips have helped you out any, do me a favor, hit the like button and hit the subscribe. I have a goal to be hitting 1,000 subscribers, and we are closing in on that. So if you want to join the community that's just fastly growing, I would greatly appreciate it. Now, the next tip may be a little hypocritical, but stay with me here. Know when to use the wingsuit. So just because you have the power to use the wingsuit doesn't mean you should always be using the wingsuit. Now, I know earlier I said use the wingsuit. But what I mean by this is if you're just using the wingsuit and you're landing in front of a tank or you're landing in a pack of people and just dying after getting maybe one or two kills, you're not helping the team. What you want to do is since Sundance does come with an EMP, you can equip that. Because a lot of times people will use the wingsuit to land right in front of a tank, to land right in front of a vehicle of some sort, and just get mowed down immediately. But if you throw the EMP in the direction in which you're going to be landing, or preferably where you're going to be landing, not just the direction, and there's a vehicle there, it's going to disable them, allowing you to land and then not have to worry about getting mowed down by a vehicle. And you could throw, C if, if there's a tank there, it allows you to throw C4 on it and get rid of it, and that will better suit the team than you just blindly trying to flank a team, and then dying. Because more times than not, you're going to do this, and you're going to die if you don't plan it out. And yeah, you're going to get those wow moments every once in a while, but if you plan it out a little bit better, you can get those wow moments a lot more than getting mowed down. All right, last and final tip, and this is going to go back to what I was saying earlier, using the elevation to your advantage, right? You don't always have to have a helicopter or an, you know, an aerial vehicle in order to use your wingsuit to get where you want to go. You can actually deploy your wingsuit very relatively low to the ground. All you got to do is climb onto a crate, and you can actually jump off of it, deploy your wingsuit, and the initial boost you're going to get can actually allow you to increase your elevation to get you to a higher obstacle, which then allows you to go ahead and redeploy your chute 
or your wingsuit and then use that to get to another higher obstacle. And as you can see, the pattern is you keep using these advantages in order to get to an elevation at which you would not have norm normally been able to get to, such as a crane. And now it's like you're in a helo and the world is at your disposal and you can use the wingsuit to get wherever you want to go. So whenever you jump onto like a crate, go ahead and deploy your wingsuit and next thing you know, you're going to be on top of a building able to go wherever you want to go. Yo, if you enjoyed the video, I asked you please hit the like button. It really does help out a lot. Also, check out either the video I just uploaded yesterday or the shorts playlist. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace and love.